All right, so today we're back at the Con Expo. There's a 336, now it's a 340. I'm about to get up in there, but it's pretty big as you can see. There's like a some kind of grinder thing for asphalt right there. But I'm about to get up in there. We'll get in here now. I'm pretty sure it's just like our 323. Same as ours, isn't it? Yep, it's pretty much the same. Got all your stuff over here and your big screen. Yeah, there's a Volvo booth over there. There's a wheel truck over there. There's a V6 TXL. That's an older machine that they done rebuilt. It looks really good. They done added some more wear plate on the blade and stuff and got it all repainted. So now we're over here by the bulldozers. There's a new D4 LGP get up in there in a minute see what it looks like in there. now we're up in the dozer pretty good as you can see it's got a it's, I think that monitor's new and that's just for your gray control but kind of got better visibility but the controls and everything are the same as our D5 here they got one of the new D7s here now we're at the Volvo booth they got a 230 electric I'm not sure what size that is and then they've got a EC500 over there. So now we're at the Deason or Devilon booth. They've got a new board over here, it says DD100. It's got all the forestry stuff on it. Then they've got a big log loader and an off-road dump truck over there. There's the Deason, they got some mini track codes over there and they got a skid steer right there. Here's the inside of it. It's got a pretty big cab. It's got your screen there. And your stick there a little different. We got your control panel over there. Now we're at the Lee Bear booth. They got a truck and a loader in there. And a concrete thing. They got a big crane on this side. See it up there. They got some more back there. Alright, so now we at the Tiger Cat booth. They got two big grinders. One like a fellow buncher with wheels. And they got this big truck one right here. It's got them different style teeth on it than ours. But it's a pretty big machine. Not sure how much this thing weighs, but I'm sure you'd have to have a Trax a low boy to move it. There's up in the cab. Kind of plain and simple, kind of how I like it. But there's a road cutter thing over there. There's a road cutter thing there. But that's what I really wanted to see is this dozer. It's a pretty good size. I think it's supposed to be like the size of a D6 is what it's supposed to be. Get up there and look inside in a minute. Here I am inside of it. It's got pretty good visibility and a pretty good screen. I like the feel of the sticks. They feel pretty good. But the vlog is pretty good dozer. Alright, so now I'm in the Printorth booth. I'm in a Prenorth grinder, a self-propelled grinder. I guess that's what you'd call these, but it's pretty nice. It's just a stick steer. I guess just like a dozer. It's got a monitor here. I think that's for all your machine functions, and then it's got one here. Pretty sure that's for your backup camera, but there's the head out front. I'll get out and show y'all a picture of it. And then there's, the, they've got Traco heads, like our Seamoths. Here, here I am outside the grinder. It's got some different teeth. They're not, they're kind of the same style as ours. They're a little bit wider, I think, than ours. But it's got a big cat motor in it and a big winch. There's the big winch there. There's the engine in there. Then they've got this real neat quad track machine looks real neat it's got i'll get out here where i can get a good view of it but it's like a quad track front end loader basically like that's real beefed up forestry and then it's got a grinding head on it there's the teeth up under there and then they've got a giraffe like for trimming limbs so that goes up there and it's got a saw on it but it's neat up in there I might get up in there I don't know. 